Hey guys, welcome back to another video of computational biology. So in this, we'll be discussing one of its topic, which is biological databases. So we'll be discussing all sorts of databases related to computational biology and all of its types. So let's just get started. With this. So moving on this, let's start with the basic definition of what is a database. So a database is simply an organized collection of related data typically stored on disk and accessible by possibly by many concurrent users. Definitely a database must be accessible at a particular time by many, many users. So a data is generally raw information specifically in the biological science data will include the results of the experiment. As per a specific emphasis on biological science, data can be of many types such as sequence of DNA, protein, three-dimensional structure of proteins, 2D gel electrophoresis, microarray results and RNA sequences and many others. There are a hell lot of databases which are involved uh, in computational biology so we'll be going through each one of them in detail. So with this, so let's just uh, learn this. Let's just by heart this like there are some of the primary goals for databases which are collect and preserve the data, make data easy to find and search, to standardize the data representation, to organize data, into knowledge, also to data, minimize data redundancy, which is a very important point when you are considering talking about databases, also which which includes duplication of data, which which does not include uh, I mean, uh, which prevents the duplication of data, stored same data in multiple files. That are some of the preventions that uh, help in databases also to achieve data independence, ability to make changes in data structures without making changes in the program that receives the data, processes the data, and to organize data into knowledge. So these are some of the important goals of databases, and these are some of the important points that to remember that. The, it is very unique in nature and very much atomic in nature and no sort of redundancy or duplication happens in a database so moving and moving so there are lots of data as you can see there are tons and piles of data so these are systematically stored in databases or blocks all right so moving on this why to learn biological databases so this must be a question should be a question in your mind so why do you have to be learning biological databases there are databases where we uh, access many other things not, not related to biology so why do we study biological databases so there are a couple of reasons so basically to know where to submit your data such as sequence so here data means sequence dna sequence or protein sequence also to know where to discover the biological meaning of your experimental data which can be micro data all right also to learn how to use bioinformatics tool to access database efficiently all right so these are learning and knowing how to use the different tools of biotechnology to basically access databases efficiently all right, so these are some of the databases such as DDBJ, uh, EMBL, Gene Bank. All right, so moving on this. So, what is a biological database? So, basically, it's a collection of experimental, theoretical, organized in a way that its content can be easily accessed, managed, updated, and retrieved. So, these are a couple of important points that you should remember. All right, so this is independent for any database just not for biological database but this, these four points are independent for any database also the activity of preparing a database can be divided into collection of data making it available to multi-user systems all right so these are very much important points that you like uh, and thought i should include this moving on with this so talking is talking about some more database structures so let's talk about flat file database. So what is a flat file database? So flat file is a file containing records that have no structured interrelationship. All right. So this is a flat file uh, database picture. As you can see, there is no structured interrelationship. Examples such as MS Word document save as text only and comma separate values. All right. Which is also known as CSV file. Also ups and downs, which includes it takes up less space than a structured file. So these are some of the advantages 
all right over structured file and it, it is easy to set up and learn and how it requires the application to have knowledge to how the data is organized within the file so basically uh, yeah, though it does not have any structure interrelationship so you need to have basic knowledge of what to where and how it is organized all right if it has some sort of uh, relationship between each other so if you do not have any knowledge also you could uh, figure out things but if you put a while in flight a flat file databases you need to have some basic knowledge of uh, what is where and how the data can is organized you need to figure out that all right also most biological databases are flat file databases so which is a very important point so Moving on with this, uh, the relation coming to relation databases, coming to relational databases. So basically, it's a collection of uh, data items organized as a set of formally described tables. So basically, talking about databases, you must you probably have used SQL and other database softwares uh, to learn database management systems. All right. So it is basically relational databases are related to that. Also, object oriented databases are object and class inheritance need to learn object oriented language such as C and other uh, oriented databases. All right, so this was somewhat to our C's point of view. Uh, coming to the point of view, so I have some of the key databases value value to the biological community. So you can just here's the link, so you can just type the link I see here by pausing the video and you'll get to the page of. Where the entire databases are present of the bar which are related to biotechnology and computational biology. All right, so moving on. So, coming on with the databases of biological databases, so DBCAT, this, this is the you can just uh, pause it again and just type this link and just search. So, you'll find some of these. So, you can find the domains such as DNA, RNA, protein, genomic, mapping. Protein. There are some of the records and all the list by names. So, all the pages which have all of the databases for each of the domains. So, moving on. So, comes coming to the most important part, which is the broad classification of biological databases. So, coming to uh, biological databases, uh, which uh, broadly divides into like sequence and structure. And genome and others are like are secondary types, but we'll broadly talk about sequence and structure. So under sequence, we find two major domains, such as nucleic acid, which can be DNA or RNA, and secondly, which is proteins or amino acids. So there are three important databases or uh, banks which are included for storage of nucleic acid. So where DNA and RNA sequence are stored. So number one is D uh, Gen Bank. Second is DDBJ, which is DNA Data Bank of Japan, and thirdly is EMBL, so European Molecular Biological Laboratory. All right. So these three are important three databases for nucleic acid. So coming to protein. So number one is SwissProt. Secondly is TREMBL. Thirdly is EIR, and fourthly is Interpro. All right. So these are some of the important databases related to sequence on of uh, nucleic acid and protein. So coming to the next part of it, which is the structure based protein, structure based uh, classification of databases. So in this, there are a number of databases as you can see PDB, scope, CAT. Also under in under genome, we have NCBI genome, uh, ENSE. SEMBL, DIGR, and others are CAG, which are involved for pathways, bind, array, express, tree base, go, PubMed. So I'll be explaining about each one of them uh, in my coming videos. So stay tuned for more. Let's keep this video till here. I'll be explaining from here on. And all of the databases, as you can see here, like Gene Bank, DDBJ, EMBL, and all of it under each section. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.